Hey guys, Peppy here. I thought I'd take the last day of this year to take a moment to reflect on the state of OS development with a particular focus on the laser project. Many of you will know of Laser as a project that started to manifest in mid-2015, uh, teased with the video that you can see on screen right now. Um, at this point in development, Laser was in early design stages and implementation had not started yet, but it was intended to be a revamp of the user interface to give us a new lease on life. Um, the hype was real after this video went live, we saw a lot of people you know, wanting to have this in their hands today. Uh, development on this continued, headed mostly by myself, until late 2015. While plenty of progress was made, I also became increasingly aware of the amount of technical debt that had built up over the preceding eight years. Uh, technical debt is, you know, where you have code that just gets worse and worse over time because you aren't paying enough attention to maintaining it. Uh, by the end of the year, I reached kind of a breaking point and gathered uh, the few developers who had contributed substantially to the project, to the development of us, until that point for an emergency meeting. The outlook was grim on ever making like huge progress with the existing code. The, the existing code base, um, how I wanted to. I was also aiming to open source the project as soon as possible, but there was just so much uh, shocking code that I didn't want made public uh, that it didn't seem like a viable prospect. I proposed a complete rewrite and sent out a plea for other developers to help with this effort. Everyone involved seemed to agree with the direction, but unfortunately there weren't um, many with the free time to help in a big way, you know, being at that point uni students or employed with other jobs. Smoogie Poo and Tom94, some of you may know, uh, were most active in the early days of the project and have been indispensable over the last couple of years. We began laying out the framework for the rewrite in early 2016. This was done with quite a bit of pre-planning to make sure we were all in agreement on the direction we wanted to take. We made a list of all the things we wanted us to be and set out to start work. This took a form as a completely new project available on GitHub from day one um, under the all permissive MIT license, uh, which basically means that anyone who wanted to watch on, help out or use pieces of our code for their own projects could do so freely. And here we are two years later. Jokes aside, we have come a long way. Progress has been slower than I hoped, so I'd like to touch on the various aspects which have contributed to this. Firstly, while there are other contributors, I am still the main developer of this project. Um, as, as much as I'd love to spend all my productive hours every day working on only laser, I do have other distractions, including but not limited to maintenance of OS stable, including seasonal updates and bug fixes, uh, maintenance of the infrastructure that runs us, which is, you know, constantly growing with the increased um, influx of users. Replying to every email I receive, every tweet I receive, I really um, value direct com communication with users. Um, a lot of you will probably know that. I've probably talked to a lot of you already. Uh, keeping track of other OS development efforts, including the new website, which is also making um, huge leaps forward. But this is a topic for another day, I think. Uh, keeping the store running. I know I've kind of um, put that into the backlog at the moment with tablets and keyboards not there for a while, but it's we still keep the stickers and the t-shirts and that kind of stuff stocked. Um, handling financials and accounting, as much as I dread this, it's, you know, a fact of life, you have to do that. Uh, keeping forward momentum on other projects like Featured Artists and the Wiki. Um, they're both going pretty well, but, you know, we still have a lot of um, room for improvement there. So that's that's some of the stuff that I've also been working on. Uh, you know, it, it so, some days I go through a whole day without actually getting any forward progress, any development done on laser, and it's it's really frustrating. But at the same time, um, 
you know, to keep existing users happy and to make sure everything is running smoothly. It's just how it has to be. So moving on to the actual implementation of Laser, uh, we're, we're sparing no expense in automated testing and uh, scrutiny on code quality to ensure we don't hit a dead end down the track in a similar way uh, to what happened with the existing stable release. This doesn't come without its efficiency drawbacks, but we feel it's imperative to get things right this time around and create a code base which will serve us for many, many years forward. We also made the decision to split the development effort into two distinct projects, um, separating out the game implementation uh, from the framework which it runs on. In this process, not only have we been able to better document the low-level code, but we've also created a 2D game engine, which is amazingly flexible and capable of quickly iterating interfaces and animations in a way I haven't really seen done anywhere else. Um, everyone involved in this project is very proud of what we have created so far. Finally, we have developed Blazor with cross-platform support in mind. Uh, while the current downloadable installer is only available for Windows, uh, we are happy to have core developers, including myself, actively developing and testing on Linux and Mac OS. Uh, we're also very close to having working iOS releases and Android isn't far behind. We're truly aiming for um, native cross-platform support um, for those who are following along with the .NET um, ecosystem right now. We're, we're pushing for .NET Core support um, and this doesn't come without its overhead but it's something we value because you know honestly who wants to run us under Wine or some other emulation layer? So where do we currently stand? Um, Laserin is, is in a very playable state, but missing some of the features which many users rely on. Therefore, I'm still hesitant to get more eyes on it just yet. We're so close, but um, here are the, some of the areas which I feel um, may be an issue to those of you that are going to try Laser in its current state. Um, tablet support, especially when you turn on raw input, is not heavily tested. This is something we're actively working on. Um, skin support isn't present. So anyone who is not a fan of the default skin, that said, the default skin has changed quite a bit, um, will be yeah a bit disappointed right now. It's safe to say that um, we are working on skin support and it should come in January, February, and your existing skins will work at least in gameplay. Uh, we haven't really iterated on the um, the playability of the current default skin in Laser. Uh, this will improve over time, obviously, but right now I've, I've seen a lot of people having issues with, um, you know, just the feel of it doesn't feel as, as nice as, as the stable default skin. Um, there's no means of submitting scores, so we don't have any kind of ranking system right now. Uh, we're, we're kind of finishing everything else off first before considering ranking with uh, compatibility with the existing ranking system. Um, there's no multiplayer. Multiplayer I was hoping to get out this year, but unfortunately we've just I've been so busy with other aspects just tidying things up that it's not done yet. Um, that that will come out very soon. I'm hoping January uh, with with some with some aspects that you may not have seen before in, in an OS multiplayer implementation. We're hoping to do some cool things there. You know, something you can experience which isn't available on the stable release of OS, so you have a reason to give Laser a try once, once now, now and again. Um, and yeah, there's, there's tens of other features which people rely on every day in OS stable which aren't yet present. So just keep that in mind. We, we are aware of all the missing features and we do have a to-do list. I can say that our team is insanely productive in the recent weeks, as those that are following along can likely attest to. And a lot of the missing pieces of the puzzle will quickly be filled in. If following the progress of Laser does interest you, I highly suggest following um, my blog post, which I am now up updating again. So I did promise the release of Laser in 2017, um, even going as far as saying I'd quit if this didn't happen. 
While Laser is by no means ready to take over and replace the stable release, it is available for download and has been for about 6 or 8 months now. And this download installable version will happily coexist with your existing OS installation. Um, it automatically updates multiple times a week. It will give you a good insight into how fast we're making progress. I would highly recommend downloading and giving it a try. Um, and leaving it installed, checking back once in a while, just to see how things are going. While continuously listening to and taking feedback on board, I've always strived to sail OS in a direction that I can agree with. I'm glad to say that this is still the case. I truly hope you guys can take a moment to appreciate just how big of an ecosystem OS is, um, even compared to some of the, you know, the more commercial games out there, and just how many facets need to be concurrently managed and maintained to keep everyone happy. For a team as small as we are, this isn't an easy task, so please be kind to us when we fail to meet your expectations. And definitely when this happens, don't hesitate to bug me or anyone else on the team. I'd like to end this by thanking everyone for making 2017 a very enjoyable year for myself. Um, thanks to everyone involved in the laser project so far including all the people that have contributed in some way or another. Thanks to everyone on the other various OS teams uh, for keeping things running smoothly. There's a lot of people involved in keeping this game going and I appreciate every single one of you. Thanks to all the users out there, that's you. Uh, both current and past players and mappers, you know, just for playing the crap out of this game. Um, here's to many more years of OS. <laughs>